What's up my beautiful babes? So you guys have seen me make over a couple wigs now. My $2,000 wig, yeah, that baby was expensive. My five year old wig, she looks so much better now. And today you're gonna see me make over this wig right here, yeah. So she's been sitting in the closet for quite some time now. She's been stored away and she might have gotten in a couple fist fights during that storage time with a few other wigs. I'm not sure what happened to her really, but this wig definitely has been neglected. So I've been following these girls, Simi and Hayes, on Instagram. Their Instagram handle is Simi Hayes. This is what they look like. They're so pretty, so cute, and I'm obsessed with this hair. The dip dye ends is such a look, so into it. So today I thought, why don't I make my dip dyed fantasy come to life on this wig? I'm thinking we're cutting her into a bob. We're giving her dip dyed ends. I don't know what color the ends are gonna be yet because I don't know how well this wig's color is gonna lift out. We'll see what we get. We might get a really, really yellow color out of this, which is fine. I'm down to do yellow dip dyed ends, but we could also do blue, we could do purple, we could do pink. Let's just live the full fantasy. Listen, if the outcome is extra at all and cute, I'll be completely fine with it. And you guys, just saying, new merch, I'm extra, shop it now. So cute, so soft, so comfy. So I definitely have my work cut out for me if I wanna make this wig look anything like this girl's hair, but like the red and yellow orange of it, or like red and pink orange. We'll see what happens. Let's all pray to the hair gods before I start. Hello, hair god, help me in this journey to fix this wig, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go wet this wig down, comb it out, and start the haircut. It is getting a chop. It's gonna be cute. And then we're gonna start the color. Let's get it started. <laughs> Brad here. I forgot to mention one other thing before I start this video today. I have a giveaway going on right now on my Instagram. All you gotta do to win this stuff right here is follow me on Instagram at BradMondoNYC. It'll be linked below for you, of course. And then tag two of your friends on my most recent posts and give that post a like. And that is all you gotta do. The winner for the giveaway will be picked on August 14th. And that'll be posted on my Instagram story, so check it out on that day. That is all. All right, I'm done. I just cut off a ton of hair, but I'm so obsessed with this haircut already. I feel like the color looks so much more chic with this haircut. Like, I just wasn't working with the long hair, but now it's super fashionable. I gave her a middle part also, which I think helps a lot. Um, it's super cute, but one little point I wanted to give you guys, if you're gonna do this at home, like cut a wig or anything like that, just don't put too much tension on the area that you're cutting. Because normally on a real client, I would put a lot of tension to make sure the line is straight. But with this, she has a bunch of tracks sewn into the back and stuff, so you can't really part the hair super nicely like you would in a regular person. When you put a lot of tension on the strand, it's gonna stretch the cap out that it's sewn to, um, which is gonna leave you with uneven lines in the bottom. So just put very little tension when you're cutting and you'll get a nice clean line. I hope that maybe helps you guys if you're gonna do this at home. And I'm gonna get started blow drying now and then we'll apply the color. Let's do it.
<laughs> you guys, one thing I've learned in my whole career of being a hairdresser, things are very unpredictable when it comes to color. This color is not lifting out of her hair at all. I'm using 30 volume in foils and it's been like 15 minutes and literally nothing has happened. So I don't know why, but I'm gonna rinse this out and we're gonna take a different approach to it, all right? <laughs> All right, so I just rinsed up that bleach and blow dried it again, like 80% dry. And now on to plan B. Hopefully this one works. Yeah, as you can tell, it literally didn't lift at all. I mean, very, very, very little. So we're gonna go in with green on her ends instead of doing the yellow because we're gonna make do with what we got. And actually this is 100% human hair. So I think the color, this red color is just very, very stubborn. Red's never easy to get out of the hair. So that's why it's not lifting very well, but we're gonna use it to pop only color now and we're just gonna make her ends blue or like teal and it's gonna be popping so let's do it <laughs> All right, you guys, so here is the final result of the color and the cut and the style. So, I mean, I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks so, so good, but I do realize this is not everybody's cup of tea. And you have to understand that I am not a female and nor do I look it with the center part. So I'm doing my best to rock it, but I think it definitely will look better on a girl with some makeup on and like who is somebody who could pull this off. You guys always say I can pull up anything, but I think this goes to show that I, I really can't. <laughs> but I love the dip dye color. It's very simmy and haze inspired. Very, very cute. I feel like it would rock something like this. Maybe not the orange on top, but like definitely this blue situation. And I love the cut and the style came out so cute. And I just love it, okay? I think it's super fun and super different for me. I never do anything like this. I, yeah, I know I definitely have never ever done a client who wanted this. So it was fun for me to try something new. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me transform today's wig. Yeah. And if you guys wanna see more wig transformations like this, definitely comment below, give this video a like, subscribe, just do it all for me, please.
please. I put so much work into these damn wigs. You could just throw a sis a like, okay? Throw a sis a like right there. Just smash the like button, all right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.